Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems, you know, it seems like we have found that we have another national champion. For North Dakota State, that is. North Dakota State has won their ninth FCS championship in the past 11 years, dominating, just absolutely dominating the Montana State Bobcats in Frisco on a cold, you know, day. You know, it's cold here where I am, you know. It, we're a little up a little close to Frisco, so you know it's cold here. It is cold in Frisco, and the field was not great. The field was not great at all. Toyota Stadium did get that fixed. I get it. There were like three bowl games there, you know, in like a week, but you had three weeks to prepare for this game, so no excuses. It's atrocious how this turf, you know, is never good enough each and every year, and it all, it's causing players to get hurt and stuff like that. That that that's one thing. I need to get that complaint out the way. Second complaint I need to get out the way here real quick. ESPN, you got to do better. You're the worldwide leader in sports. You know, you're, you're that's what you guys claim yourselves to be. Cover the sport you're talking about. Cover the game you're talking about. Don't don't sit here for the whole 20 minutes at halftime talking about, well, we're here at the Georgia-Alabama Media Day for the CFP National Championship. That's not that. Y'all been talking about that game since last since last week, since New Year's Eve. Y'all been talking about that game since New Year's Eve. C can you not? Can you not? Read the room. Read the room. I get it. This game was a blowout. I get it. North Dakota State whipped Montana State. You know, in a game that was never close. You know, it was all North Dakota State from the beginning until the end. But, man, at least try to cover the game, you know, you're actually supposed to be covering. This doesn't make any sense. And, and, for, and another thing, put the national championship on ABC. We, I, I, I looked at the TV guides the other day, and there was, like, a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. From when the SCS National Championship was supposed to start until the NFL countdown for those two NFL games that honestly don't really matter all that much later. So, I mean, you could have just put the National Championship on ABC. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Why we got to do this? Why are we not putting major sporting events on ABC? Come on. Stop putting this game on ESPN2. It's atrocious. It's atrocious. Thank God we didn't have to get list of LaRod Gilmore. But, I mean, uh, that... Let's talk about this game. Let's talk about this game. Because we, again, this game was just not close at all. I mean, Tommy Balot got hurt early in this game, like after the first drive. You know, you know lower lower body injury, and he was out. Hunter Lepke dominated three touchdowns. One from eight yards, one from 11 yards, and another, you know, later on. And it was just, it was just never close. Like, the Bobcats were able to get past the North Dakota State 50-yard line a couple times, but they couldn't they, 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 they couldn't do anything. They couldn't do anything at all. Like, they missed a field goal. That was one of the worst field goal kicks I've seen so far this year. It was just not a good one at all. There was also a fake punt field goal. Or, or rather, it was a fake field goal that ended up being a punt, which was just, why? It's just like, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Christian Watson came back. He didn't really do too much. You know, Cam Miller did just enough. I mean, this was just, this was just, you know, this is domination. Tucker Robig, you know, he he, he, did, he did what he could. He did what he could. But I mean, ultimately, you know, the Bobcats could never get enough penetration on the Bison to be able to win this game. They could never stop the run. I mean, the Bison were running all over this team running all over this Bobcat team including a 76 yard run from Kobe Johnson as well I mean they just they just they were just whipping up on him this was a clinic of running the ball like North Dakota State had over 300 yards rushing damn near 400 you know this was just this was just this was just bad I mean I don't get it. I don't get it. it. It's 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 just you know pure domination. Uh, maybe you know maybe people are gonna say, oh well, JMU North Dakota State was the real national championship game, and that is obviously not the case, you know. Uh, you know, but I mean, 
there, there's just nothing really else left to say here. I mean, North Dakota State, they did it again. Now they're going to head on into the off season with another national championship. Sure, Lance McCutcheon got a touchdown late for Montana State to make it a little bit more respectable. But, I mean, again, too much bias and energy down in Frisco today. And that's it for the FCS season. I, 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 don't, I don't think we expected such a predictable result in a, a, of a bias and championship in a dominant fashion. I don't, I don't think I expected this playoff to go the way it went, but I mean, it went that way. So, we got one more video left in the college football season, which is obviously going to be the CFP National Championship on Monday night. So, I will see you all for that on Monday night. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.